Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. By the looks of the background, we're going to be talking about a complete train wreck or a car wreck or whatever kind of wreck you want to talk about, but it's an economy crash that's happening right now. And it is actually government against government. Why? Because we are an ec in an economic war right now. That is correct. About last June, I told you how China and Russia had gotten together and they made the large announcement, the big announcement, that they are going to formulate a new reserve currency. And a lot of people balked at it, and you shouldn't be, because they are very serious and they are going to pull it off. As a matter of fact, uh, your very own uh, beloved Jerome Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, even said before Congress a little while back that he foresees uh, in the future uh, multiple reserve currencies. And Congress didn't know how to take that, but Congress honestly doesn't know how to take anything. They're just too busy doing insider trading with stocks. But the facts of the matter are China and Russia have been huge buyers of gold. And what just happened, the West is attacking them financially, economically right now. You think uh, a while ago was bad. Check this out. We're going to share the screen. And we're going to go right into it. And we're going to show you why it is very important that you want to be on the gold trade right now. Russia says the West has essentially stolen its foreign currency and gold reserves as the EU eyes asset transfer to Ukraine. Yes, you heard that correct. The uh, EU is considering right now, and right now it's just talk, right? It's at first shot across the bow to see what Russia will do. But they're saying, we're considering transferring your assets, Russia, to Ukraine. Now think about that. Let's dive in and I'm going to give you I'm going to give some points of thought after this. Russia accused the West on Monday of stealing from its currency and gold reserves. Western sanctions have frozen 640 billion dollars worth of Russian assets. The European Council is considering transferring those assets to Ukraine. Hey, you guys remember when uh, <laughs> the EU thought they were super strong with Russia and they said, uh, we're not going to certify or this was Germany Nord Stream 2. We're going to see how you guys after that. And Russia says, copy, hold my vodka and watch this. And they shut off the uh, pipeline and started to limit the amount coming out and then sent the EU reeling into hyperinflation when it comes to energy prices. This is not going to end well, but it is very, this is like a salvo being thrown across verbally right now to Russia, okay? It says Russia accused them from stealing from Moscow's currency and gold reserves on Monday, thanks to sanctions that froze Russian assets. Says right here, in a statement to reporters discussing the prospect of the European Union's proposal to transfer um, the frozen Russian assets to Ukraine, spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said, a part large of our assets have been essentially stolen by specific Western countries. The Western sanctions have blocked Russian access to roughly $640 billion worth of cash and gold reserves in response to the Kremlin's February 24th, invasion of Ukraine. Other U.S. allies followed suit earlier this year, freezing $30 billion worth of assets held by Russian oligarchs in concert with $300 billion in Russian central bank funds. Guys, this is becoming so very, very serious. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link this story below for you guys so you can take a look at it. But think about this. To say that now is the time to own gold, this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a dude with a brohawk and a dream. But I have a pretty good grip on world politics and economics from my 21 years of investing and reading the news and watching how countries attack each other. Sometimes it's shooting wars, other times it's economic wars. And right now we are in the mother of all economic wars. Why? Because the world is dividing into two. We have the West, which comprises of Canada, America, and Europe against Russia, China, India, Brazil. Keep going. Iran, there's so many more, Saudi Arabia. It's huge. It's not just the BRICS anymore. It's a massive amount. So what do you think? Do you think these three are going to win against all of these? Seriously. And not only that, out of these three, who's been buying gold? None of them. Out of this, everybody's been buying, buying gold. China, India, Russia, um, even Iraq has been, central bank has been known to be buying gold in the last 10 years, their central bank picking up gold. Right now, so few people understand the severity of this incident, this uh, situation, and it's not going to solve itself tomorrow. This is definitely a long term outlet. The next couple of years are going to definitely define where the world is economically. But I'm going to tell you right now, the one loser right now in the world is the West. The U.S. dollar is failing and it's failing fast. And the easiest way to show that is inflation. But the deeper way is to see its ties being cut with countries like Saudi Arabia. Right now, Saudi Arabia literally walked away. And now they're on uh, 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 out there just laughing and mocking our current uh, regime because they're completely ludicrous. They're seriously just had a hot mic incident, completely making fun of them because they should be. 
because our current regime is. They've lost their minds, or have they? Is this something that people want? Is this something that the higher B, uh, the powers that be want? I think it is. So how do we fight this? How do we finish this? We get out of debt. We buy the gold. We buy the silver if you can't afford gold. I'm also looking at platinum because right now, the wealthy people are pulling all the physical platinum off of the COMEX right now. And I just did that video with Joe uh, with the micro future showing the upward trend of that and showing that the numbers can are not lying. The physical platinum is being pulled off, but also the physical silver is being pulled off as well. Right now, there's an economic war. What side do you want to be on? The side of CNN and Fox Business and CNBC telling you everything's okay. I mean, things are bad, but they could be worse. They're not that bad. Remember, that's what they did right up to the day Lehman Brothers said, we're closing. Matter of fact, they told you to go buy their stock. Think about this right now. There has never, ever, ever, ever been a better time or op reason to go and buy gold. Why? Governments are doing it, central banks. Well, they usually are in the know. So I'm going to go do that. I'm not going to follow the United States Central Bank because they're the ones that tell you everything's fine until it's not. And they go, yeah, about that. You know, they, they stroke their brohawk. Hmm. I think we screwed up. No, they'll never say that. They'll say something like Ben Bernanke did. We didn't see this coming. I, I did not see this coming. But now he's, you know, gets a Nobel Prize for economics because he was complete tool. He got it wrong. Or did he? I think he knew what was coming. The facts are the power of B do not want you to know this stuff. And right now the EU is considering giving uh, Russians um, Russia's money to Ukraine. That is war. That is a, a, a literally the shot across the bow economically. Because what's going to stop them? If they go through this, what is going to stop them after that? Think about the implications here. Think about what happened when Nixon closed off the gold windows because France was freaking out and they were pulling all their gold out because they didn't trust our central bank. Weird. <laughs> Who would have thought that another government wouldn't trust another government until they finally had to close the window because the convertibility from gold to, to from dollars to gold was so much, it was draining the vaults. And I believe you're seeing that right now in the COMEX, the NYMEX, between silver and platinum and pretty soon i wouldn't be surprised if you see, start seeing really gold dro numbers dropping i'm going to be on the side of the central banks i know it sounds crazy you're like you're on the side of the central banks when it comes to being strategic these ones around the world that are trying to uh, back their their currencies with commodities like the chinese uh, gold backed yuan bond this is going to be a real thing and you talk about that great reset there's a lot of people with a pie in the sky that believe some white knight's going to come pay off your debt that ain't coming that's not coming Guys, I'm going to link this story below. I hope you got something out of this. With that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.